ready to come.
Mrs. Wagner is the secretary for the substitute school teacher. And the first show left in school is about a substitute school teacher. So we are honoring Mrs. Wagner with doing this show for the substitute school teacher. She gets up at 5 o'clock in the morning, maybe 4 o'clock, but she's on the phone, I know, by 5.30, calling all the substitutes. So the first show is a comedy, it's about 30 minutes long, uh, it's Laughing School, and it's dedicated to Mrs. Wagner. <laughs> the second show uh, is dedicated to Mr. and Mrs. Bonner. They, they do not know about this. There's an insert in your program which they haven't received. So this is a shock for them also. Would you bring the flowers on? Was I supposed to bring flowers? <laughs> Was I supposed to give flowers to somebody? Somebody who they want to Somebody who talked to this two years ago? <laughs> well, I knew that they were flowers. Uh, they were
and meet you after the performance. It is very dangerous to bring flowers, also to take photographs and recordings, which are illegal. I have permission from the drama company to do a video recording. What we will do, we cannot make a profit on a video recording. Uh, what we can do is, is get you a copy uh, at cost. We're not allowed to make a profit. What I'd like to do next uh, is we have maybe two to ten minute intermission. Maybe. It depends how fast the show goes. We want to get out of here early. So what we're going to do, after that, there will be a short intermission. And there's pizza and soda pops for sale uh, in the hall. The bathroom, the boys' bathroom is on the left. The girls' bathroom is on the right. <coughs> Enjoy yourself. and. Uh, I think you're going to have fun. Thank you.
Jacob. She had a mental breakdown. Oh, that was silly of me. This class. I told you this class would need a jitters. Small winner. Perhaps I should introduce myself to the class. No, no. Only that to me. Foils and rules. I would like to introduce your teacher for today. Miss Quackenbush. Say hello.
you and to me. Are you going to get promoted too, Miss Quackenbush? In a matter of speaking, you might say that. Yes, I know. Poetry always has a calming and yet mentally challenging effect. Who knows a nice, soothing poem? Teacher, teacher, I know a poem. All right, Peggy. You want me to recite it? I'm sure you meant recite. Yes, please. I shot narrow in the air. Where it landed, I know not where. So then. Oh, my pretty room alone. The clap of the rope. First. It couldn't be any worse. It was my bigger room alone. Teacher, teacher, I know a poem. Let's hear it, George. Thank you. 
violin. I'm afraid of arithmetic and basic algebra are too much for you, Ma. So how could you try biology? Biology is good. I hope you don't have to cut up your frogs. Today, what would he be noted for? Old age? Well, a little green back at all? 
George. What part of the fish might you develop? Easy. The scales. Rob, Peggy, take your time. Think before you answer. A dentist charges $50 for a cavity. Mm -hmm. How much would he charge for two cavities? Why would anybody want to buy cavities? <laughs> Sit down, Peggy. Class, this is serious. How dumb can you get? How dumb do you want us to be, Miss Quackenbush? <laughs> we'll try again. Now, who can name ten North American birds? Teacher, teacher. You can answer the question. The name of ten North American birds? Wonderful. Let's hear them. One bald eagle and nine pigeons. <laughs> I'll try again. You did me. Take a think before you answer. Now. You. Give me a call now. Who? Me? That's correct. I got one question. What is it? You mean I got it right? That's correct. I got one question. What is it? What is it? What's a pronoun? I'll make one more attempt. It won't be easy. Students, take your time. Think before you answer. Now, this is the question. Why is George Washington buried at Mount Vernon? Goody, 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 goody,
Yes? I've just decided. The job here is yours. You'll have all next year to work with these pupils. They'll improve, I'm sure. You mean I'll have to teach these pupils for a whole year? Most certainly. In that case, I have news for you and the class. Boys and girls, listen carefully. Although you didn't actually take the real exam, I can tell you are all promising pupils. Your answers on the practice questions showed incredible wit and creativity. I think it would be a great mistake to hold you back, because I can tell you are all bright and imaginative people. Consequently, I recommend that you all go to the next grade. You mean be promoted? They really must have impressed you, Beatrice. They did. All they needed a little encouragement, and I'm ready to give it to them. Even though they're going on to the next grade, I still want to be their teacher. I hope that's all right with you. And I promise I won't trust them to never break down. You want to be your teacher?